Oh god, there's more coming. Oh god, uh oh, uh oh. Oh man. Okay, yes, hello everyone, this is... Oh, episode 5. Oh, I'm, I'm very confused here, I'm, I'm kind of a bit frazzled. Okay, so we didn't sleep properly. Um, she woke up having a nightmare, so I need to wipe that panic to reduce. In fact, you know what, we have beta blockers. What we got them for, so have some beta blockers. Presents, no, beta blockers, yep, take one. You're done. Okay, put it back. They've taken effect. Good. Back to sleep. You can't sleep. You're kidding. You're very tired. How can you not sleep? Can you at least wait? No, you can't. Okay, now I can sleep. Good. Back to sleep. Guys, be right back. We're gonna try sleeping again. Okay, excellent. We have slept throughout the night. Granted, we woke up having a nightmare, but it's six in the morning. Good enough for me. We can now see again. Let's loot this place properly. Oh man, last night, oh, that was, that was tense. These windows, I probably didn't mention in the previous episode. Can you see how they don't lean out over the edge of the far wall? If you climb out this window, you'll fall through the ceiling, even with a sheet rope, you'll pass through the ceiling and land on the inside of the building, right against this corner. And when I first came to this building, I thought there'd be a window on this side. There wasn't, obviously. I didn't have that much of a choice at that point. But yeah, if I climbed it out, I would land on the inside of the building. If there's a hole in the inside of the building, it's a lot more difficult to run away than if there's a hole in the outside of the building. But granted, either way, I would probably die. But hey, you know what? We have lived another day. It is day five. I'm surprised I've lasted even this long. Drink out the toilet. That is our victory drink. Oh man, we can finally see. Oh. What bags have we got? What bag is that? I know we've got the best bag on our back here. Yeah, big hiking bag and normal hiking bag here. So what's the difference between them? One can carry 22 with a weight reduction of 80. The other one can carry 20 with a rate reduction of 70. So it's still worthwhile finding another big hiking bag. Oh man, I can't believe it is relatively empty and quiet. I think there was a zombie in there, and that door looks like it was smashed open. Was it? Smashed open or left open? Where did I see a zombie? I could have sworn I saw a zombie. Oh no, there was a zombie in here, I think. Just in this little corridor. Well, wherever she is, she is not here now. Clear, good. Needle. Pretty sure we have got a needle. We've got a suture needle, and we have a normal needle. So we don't need that needle, and they don't have any kind of durability on them. Starting to get over-encumbered. I don't know why. We haven't picked anything up. Pull cue. Let's not do the pull cue again. And a box of paper clips. Yeah, I don't really know what we're going to accomplish by that. How much the pasta weight weighs? Two, doesn't it? Um, screwdriver. Do we need to carry that in our main inventory? Let's say no. In fact, let's put all the nails here and just take five nails with us. So... Um, how do I do this? Drop on the floor. Can I, I don't know, grab one, two, three, four, five. We only need one nail per sheet rope and put the rest in our backpack. Well, that's a start. And we don't need the lighter right now either. I can go in the backpack as well. This stuff is for injuries, so that can stay here. We have a spare backup hammer, which I definitely want to keep in my main inventory. And the screwdriver. Yeah, the screwdriver can go there. Save a bit of weight, which honestly didn't look like it helped much. Eat a bit more pasta. Okay, and slightly thirsty. We'll have something to drink in a minute. And actually, you know what? While we've got a minute, let's find out what the hell's happening with those water bottles. Why can't I drink from them? Water bottle. Okay, it does say drink now, which is odd. If I put them in my main inventory, does it say drink? No, it doesn't. Why can't I drink it from my... Yeah, I can't drink it from my main inventory. What the hell, game? What is wrong with you? Put it into my backpack. Are you drinking automatically or something? What the hell? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Screw it. Leave me in the backpack. Get rid of that empty water bottle. We don't need both bottles. Maybe you are drinking automatically. I don't know why anything like that would be automatic. But I was thirsty for a second. Oh, sweet. I don't know what the problem is. But... You know what? It's not that important right now. So, yeah, we'll drink anyway. And matches. We don't need that while we've got a lighter. That is good for repairing things. Can I not search? Oh, I can't search this. No, okay. Box is empty. And what about this room? Oh, that room's over on here. 
So yeah, that's the, the bar and grill done. And another night. Wow. I'm so lucky they didn't bust through. <laughs> oh my god, even worse over here. Can I get in here? Is it even worth getting in there? Bail bonds, so I wouldn't imagine I'll find anything particularly good in there. Another hoard down here by the uh, gated estate. Skill, yeah, I know. I'll deal with you in a second. I think at this distance I can just walk. You see me. Keep going, keep going. Another horde moving over here. Doing okay. It's annoying that you're drowsy, but it's kind of what I can expect with the light sleeper perk. Oh no! Damn it! Don't do it! Don't do it! may have to run if I don't kill this zombie quickly. Dead. Okay, we have now got three hordes on screen at once. How's it looking over here? Okay. Okay, you're dead as well. Now keep it quiet. Now keep it quiet. Okay, that horde's splitting up to get around that fence. Can I open this door? Do I want to open this door? Nope. Both locked. Anything we found in these bins? No again. Why is there a chair out here? That's, that's odd. How's it looking on the inside? Not great. Yeah, definitely not great. I wouldn't say it's worth breaking in. And I'm pretty sure this is the fast food place we did get into. Oh no, this is the motel. I guess the fast food place that we got into was further down. In that bin? Nope. What about that? Whoa, that's... A lot of zombies for a small room. Oh man. And yeah, do not go up these stairs ever. Don't don't go here. If you don't if you can't notice, if you can't see, the second floor of the motel doesn't have windows. Which means you can only drop down from these banisters or come down by the stairs. So do not go up those stairs. Whoa no! No, thank you. That was nearly a bite. You heard nothing. Wow. Slightly peckish. Let's not eat the rest of that pasta just yet. And we are out of vitamin pills as well. And this is the fast food place we went to. Let's see if we can find that petrol station today. I have a feeling this main road when you follow it, it'll reach the highway, which goes left and right, obviously. The petrol station is connected to the highway, not this main road. I think that's the case, which means if I just head right from this point, I may not find the petrol station. I have to go through the woods, and once I reach the highway, it means I've missed it. So this is the warehouse that we cleared. Fine, I have time to kill you. Surprise, I haven't found a map for Rosewood. Come on, fall over. No, nope. come on. Okay, you're dead. Kill you. There's a little horde coming. Come on. Whatever you're ready. There we go. You're dead. The zombies are slowly making their way over here. And you did. Good. Yeah, they're trying to bust through that door. Okay, good. So this is the supermarket, which we don't need to go to right now. All we can expect to find is food. And we're really doing okay for food. Especially with the can opener. Speaking of which, I don't need the can opener here right now. Put it into my backpack. Which leaves me with... How much room exactly? Oh! That container's actually barely full. Oh no, there it is. 17 out of 20. So yeah, it is getting quite full. But yeah, as you can see, this 22 kilograms of weight in this hiking bag, when I'm carrying it inside the bag itself, only weighs four and a half kilograms. Oh, here we are. This is a petrol station. Well, that was weird. 
Did I just miss the supermarket? Well, screw it, I didn't need to go to the supermarket anyway. Okay, so that is the toilets. I don't need to go in there. Petrol station is actually quite a good place to sleep because the second floor has two windows leading out. Boom and boom. One dead. No loot. Come on. Fall over. There we go. And nothing in these bins. It's a door unlocked. It's not surprising. Any windows on this side? No, I don't think there would be. They're just going to be this glass over here. And incredibly, none of it is broken. Which means if this door is locked, I can't get in. Not to mention, if I swing around this corner, those zombies are going to see me. Yeah, it's locked. Damn it. Damn, that is not great. These windows can't be opened. Yeah. Doesn't even give the the option to keep trying until you hear the clanking sound, which indicates it's locked. So yeah, these shop windows, they can't be opened. They can only be smashed open. Which, unfortunately, looks like it's going to be my only option. If I smash these windows, are you guys going to hear... Oh, you moved on. Excellent. Done. Smash window. Now let's see if you guys heard. No, you didn't. Yeah, smashing glass doesn't make as much noise as you'd think. It's not quiet. Not like um, removing broken glass, which is completely silent. Gas can, yeah, I don't need it. But yeah, smashing glass doesn't make as much noise as you'd think. Soda can, or soda bottle. Yeah, we would take it, but we are starting to get quite full. And crisps. Yes, they are crisps. I will take them as well. They're not chips, damn it. And let's turn off this radio. It hasn't grabbed anyone's attention just yet. Turn it off. There we go, off. So I've locked the door. Nobody is alerted to my presence just yet. Water bottle, we don't need it. Crisps, I will take. Rotten ice cream. Propane tank. Yeah, we're not doing any cooking either. At least not likely. Okay, they're starting to move back towards here. Which does have me a bit worried. And orange soda again. Hmm, we're starting to get quite full here. I think it's going to me over the limit. It does. Damn it. How hungry am I? Peckish. Screw it. Just, just eat all of the pasta. Anybody in here? Any way out? Yes, sir. It's good. Excellent. And I will hear if and when they smash any glass trying to get in. Okay, so I ate all the pasta. I'm a little bit sad and quite tired as well. Damn. And thirsty as well, which isn't surprising. I will leave being thirsty for now. Oh, no, now I'm actually probably thirsty. There are some taps upstairs anyway. Paintbrush, yeah, and paint. We're not going to be... Oh, there you go, tap right here. We're not going to be painting at all. Like, at all this, this series. Okay, you guys aren't coming in yet, are you? Are you going to smash on one of the windows, maybe? Doesn't look like it. Now, as I said, there are lots of windows in and out here, so if need be... I can use a sheet rope to get out. Rotten broccoli. I wouldn't want to eat it anyway. What's this? A TV? A sofa? Yeah, we don't need any of that. Any zombies on the inside of here? No, there aren't. Good. And the cabinet? Just has bleach. Yeah, we're not ready to kill ourselves yet. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay, I think they're trying to get in now. What I might do is open this window and then leave a sheet rope here, climb out, and if need be, in the case of emergency, I can climb up this way, make a sheet rope out of that, craft sheet rope, you, and craft sheet rope, you. Okay, so... If need be, I can climb up this way and get into a bedroom to go to sleep. I don't often do that because it's kind of a waste of resources. Not to mention, if a zombie stands on that tile, 
they have a habit of destroying the ship. I don't know what's involved with that. I don't know if it's a, if they just stand on the tile or if they smash a window that's where the tile is. Basically, just do any kind of attack. But they very often break the sheet ropes you lay down. Can I get into the bathrooms? Do I want to get into the bathrooms? There aren't any windows in and out. Hello. I really don't want to at all. I don't need to be in here. Oh my god. You know what? No, you can stay there. Anything in the bin? Ah, there's a sheet. But we don't need it. And yes, it's unlocked. Wow, it's unlocked as well. I'm very surprised. Anything in the bin? Again, wouldn't imagine there would be. So let's just move on. Yeah, they've made their way into the back possession now. That's a bugger, but at least I can sneak in through the back and get to the bedroom. And it also means I have one less nail in my main inventory, which I need to keep an eye on. I'm tired and slightly sad. I could read a book. Ah, oh, screw it, yeah. Let's read a magazine. Go and read. Does that alleviate feeling sad? Okay, so it is actually only boredom. Magazines only alleviate boredom. Not sadness. Books and comics alleviate sadness. So I need to get rid of the magazines. They're a waste of space. Do I have any in this inventory? It doesn't look like it. I really should sort our inventory to food in one and everything else in the other. Let's leave the magazines on you because I don't want to see them lying around the ground. Wondering what they are. Okay, so that's a little bit less weight. Not a lot. And yeah, this is the warehouse. The only warehouse in town. So where the hell do I go to next? I guess we can head over to the shops like I intended to yesterday. Maybe we can make some progress there. It's only one o'clock and we are feeling tired as well, damn. I don't want to sleep now and then not be tired until like two or three o'clock in the morning. Well, easy. Stick clear of those. Because I don't want to venture out at night. As you guys saw when I was trying to clear out that... That, what is it, bar and grill. Trying to clear place out in the dark is not fun. Really not fun. So ideally I prefer to have... Wow, now I'm very tired. Screw it, should I just head back to that? B&B? You know what? I'm leaving. Can't bother to kill you. I'm gonna head back to that and that will be the barn grill. And have a quick nap. I might even set the alarm on my watch, wherever it is. Yeah, and that's actually really silly. I should have checked to see what the alarm was. Which it is off. Whenever you pick up a phone or a watch, sorry, a watch or a clock, always, always check to see if there's an alarm on. Because the last thing you want is to be wandering around looting places, then your watch or clock alarm goes off. What is that B&B, is it? Or the, damn it, keep calling it B&B, that bar and grill. It's kind of this way -ish, isn't it? Yeah, past this fence, I think it is. To be honest, I could have a quick nap in that petrol station. But then again, I wasn't very tired when I was over there. I was just, what is it, normal tired? Slightly tired? Okay, there's a horde below. Let's see the state of the windows at the front of the shop. That window's been smashed. But I think it was to begin with. But has anybody made it on the inside? Yep, somebody has now. it looking like oh oh man one two three four oh that was close don't know how I managed that okay they're all leaving that's good they're trying to group up with a bigger horde let's kill you then you dead? 
Oh. Excellent. Close the door. Head upstairs, set an alarm for, I don't know, four o'clock maybe to sleep for two hours. And then we can head out. You know what, let's sleep here. If I need to leave via a, no, not this one. One four. If I need to leave via a sheet rope, it's right next to the door. So let's set an alarm for, screw it, let's say five. So there you go, set an alarm for five, go to sleep. Yep. Wow, and you woke up in a panic. Damn it! Where are those beta blockers? Antipressants beta blockers here. Have a beta blocker, put it back, go to sleep, which I can't, give it a second. Come on, you're not panicked anymore. Yeah, I'm definitely not having sleeping pills at this point. Well, screw it, I think that's best I can do. <laughs> Let's turn off the alarm on my watch then. At least we slept for like an hour, I think. Oh, the alarm wasn't even on. Never mind. That's lucky. And also silly. Oh, screw it. We did what we wanted to accomplish. <laughs> okay, so you're still feeling sad. Do I have any books? So I can get rid of weight. No? Yep, got one. Read it. Get rid of it. And then you're not sad anymore. And you're also slightly peckish. Let's try eating food that isn't going to make you sad anymore. Because I think I'm running out of ways to alleviate sadness. So let's eat something from here. Let's just, here you go. Eat a quarter of that. A quarter packet of crisps. Okay, fine. Eat half of it. There you go. Done. Now let's go. Okay, well that was a productive nap even though it wasn't very well thought out because I didn't set the alarm. Wow, hello zombie. Just going to walk past. Actually, you, you know what? I'm going to kill you because I don't want you to be upstairs. If you're just going to wander around down here, that's fine. Come on. Come on. There we go. And you're dead. Okay, so yeah, I'm just tired. And not very tired. Yeah, this light sleeper perk. In my other campaign that I was playing, I decided not to take it because in my previous attempts at trying to survive, at trying to make that base, I had light sleeper and I just found it so damn annoying. Okay, we're going to sneak past. We're not going to go into the skated community. It's way too dangerous. Let's hug the back of this horde. Damn it, they're going to see me now because they stop moving and they're turning around. You guys are going to see me. You see me, you're moving quite quickly. Let's get a bit of distance from you and then start walking. There we go. Yep. And you spot me then. This should be the line, the line of shots as well. Horde making its way over there. Oh, that is not a good idea to get in that way. I prefer to get in the front of the shops, not the back. Let's try to lure you guys around this shop and then we can start sneaking. Someone heard me though. Yep, you heard me. Wow, all you guys heard me. Although only two of you see me. Do you can. One dead. Loot? No. Thank you. Kill you. And can I sneak in here? Do I want to sneak in there? What oh, is that? A fashion place. So clothes. Oh, it's unlocked. If I did want to sneak in. Don't really know what I'd be looking for. So this little restaurant here is teeming as well. That is the bookshop, which is good to find books to alleviate sadness. Nobody hear me. Yep, she heard me. Come on! There we go. Loot? No. So still only one zombie on me. Oh, oh no. She heard me and he heard and saw me. Actually, no, he only heard me. But unfortunately, they're all going this way. Fine, I will kill all of you. No 
loot. No more hiking bag before we get in. So yeah, we are after a second big hiking bag. Or even a military backpack. Not that I wouldn't imagine I would likely find one. In fact, I don't think even in my normal campaign I've found one. Speaking of which, did I pick up a couple of pistols? I think I may have. Oh, hello. Let's walk away while I'm searching my inventory. No, I guess I didn't pick up. Oh, I picked up one. And you have a laser sight on you. Which is, in fact, vanilla gear. I was worried that one of them would have a silencer on them, because, as I mentioned in the first episode, I would use silencers, even though the mod that flies them is installed. So I need to make sure that any pistol with a silencer, I use a screwdriver to remove that mod before I use the gun. So what is this store? Another restaurant? How many people inside? Again, team... Oh yeah, we, we cleared this. Well, we didn't clear this, we went past it. And I was walking, so I alerted these three. God damn! Fine, fine, fine. I will kill you all. Uh oh, hammer's broken. Let's grab my backup hammer. And kill you. And put the broken hammer here. And you have vitamins, nice. I will take that. That will keep the loot tied. And no good loot beyond that. Let's take some pills because I am... Yeah, I think I was very tired there. And, ooh. Okay, so these are the drugs that you can find on zombies. I think they have a 0.1% chance, maybe, actually no, maybe it's just a 1% chance to appear on a dead zombie. And you need to get one of each, which I think there are seven in total, to make a zombie cure. In fact, why am I even picking it up? I said that I wouldn't make a zombie cure. Not that I'd imagine I find all the drugs I need. But yeah, that's part of a mod that I've got. Find each one of the seven drugs like this, and then you can make a zombie cure. But yeah, I won't be doing that for this campaign. It's locked. What other doors would lead up there? Actually, no, this is the only door that leads up there. Damn it. Oh, okay. That's what it took. One hit. I'm guessing the zombies were pounding on the door all this time. Can I remove the broken glass from this? Did it not work? Whoa! Yeah, they hurt that. How many are you going to see me? All of you. Fine. Back off. No, back off. Loot. Didn't look like it. Nope, there wasn't. Seriously, zombies? How many of, the, of them are there? Probably a lot. Actually, oh yeah. Now it turned around. Thank you for making noise. Loot. And loot, no. I'll check in a second to see how many zombies we killed. There we go. Please fall over. There we go. Okay, now you're done. How many zombies have we killed? 236. Not bad for day five. Let's clear this glass. Oh god, it looks like... Apparently that glass is cleared. Even though it doesn't look like it. Oh, that's scary. The door unlocked. Yes, it is. There we go. Just you two. Come on, kill you. One. Oh god. Ooh, man, what a win for an axe. Stop it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do it! One day. No. Was I scratched? No, I think he lunged for me. That was close. I hate crawling zombies so much. Okay, okay, now we're done. Red pen, don't need it. Oh man, that scared me. That crawling zombie, I thought he bit me. Just double check. No, we're not injured. Ooh, that was probably the um, thick skinned perk. Whoa! 
both of you down. Excellent. Okay, so, yeah. Here we don't really need to loot anything, although do I have anything at all to alleviate sadness? I don't think I do. Maybe I'll go in there and look for a comic book. They don't weigh as much as normal books. Oh! And I'll just carry, like, one of them. In fact, let's double check that these windows are... Yeah, good. They did have the glass removed. Now, comic book, please. Just normal books from the looks of it. Oh, is that a farming book or a comic book? No, nope, that was just a normal book. Fine, I will grab one. There you go, done. And now let's head upstairs. I think I may sleep in this building now with any luck, hopefully. These buildings can be quite packed and it can be kind of dangerous to get through them as well. What have you got on you? Key? Take it. Even worse. Oh, backpack. 20? No, it says 16. Okay, I thought it said 26. So that's better than the one I've got. So this is dangerous now because I need to get into an apartment to climb out of a window with a sheet rope. Where does this lead to? Fine, I will clear this and use this as a backup. Ooh, gun. What have you got on you? No mod or anything? Medium hiking bag, nice. Has 21. Okay, so that is a tiny, tiny bit better than the normal hiking bag. Even though one's normal, one's medium. This is part of the mod. It carries a tiny bit more with more weight reduction. So, put that on the ground. Put that in my secondary. Then grab all of this stuff and then fast forward. Okay, so I had a gun around here, didn't I? Pistol, pistols. Okay, so that pistol is maximum condition and has a laser sight. This pistol is also maximum condition and doesn't have any mod on it. So I'll just stick to the pistol that I've got. Not that I'm going to be any good at all using a pistol. So is there any loot that I could get here? Again, we don't really need any. Pizza and pepper, rotten, and there's a battery if I found a torch, which I'm not really keen on using torches. I suppose I should, especially using... Whoa! Hello! Okay, guys. I'm going to kill you. Close the door. Go close the door. Yeah, I know you're in here. Standing off. Oh, West Point map. Damn it. Man, I really want a Rosewood map. Okay, drink that. Panic's slightly hungry, very tired. And this apartment has how many windows? One on the side, and that's it. To get to the other apartment, I have to go into the hallway, which may not be feasible. Can I see down this corridor? Doesn't look like there are any zombies down there. Let's close the door just for now. Are there any windows in this corridor? Again, it doesn't look like it. Hello? Oh, anybody in here? Anybody at all? God, the visibility's terrible. Not helped by being tired. Oh, empty. Awesome. Any food? Rotten grapes? And no. No food at all. Makes me lucky that we have a lot of food. Underwear, yep. And yeah, we're good. Let's close these. So now I've access to both of these doors to climb out the windows on the far side of the other. Unfortunately, it doesn't only mean that I have those windows on that side of the building to climb out of. And if there's a horde over there, then I'm in trouble. So let's clear this place out. In fact, for the rest of the night, we can spend it clearing out these apartments. At least this has two windows going out. Magazine, anything of use. Charcoal, yeah. Not really that interested. No one in here, excellent. Have our complimentary toilet drink. And 
any food. Doesn't. Ah, oh, butter. There is that. And no, we're good. Still no zombies up here. Let's close these doors. Make sure no zombie walks past us and breaks in. Oh, hello. Who sees me? Oh, yep. Oh, wow. Should I even bother? Let's pull you back. And, tr and then try to clear out a few of you. God, the visibility is bad. Okay, one dead. The visibility is so bad. Okay, good. You're moving on. Easy. No loot. Well, that's key. And you dead as well. Excellent. With another key. Brilliant. And they didn't break into that apartment either. God, it's getting so dark, I can't even see the doors. Any food? Wow, nothing. Nothing in those cupboards. I guess nobody lives here, so... Understandable. Nothing there either. Anything in the toilet? Zombie, maybe? Nope. Antidepressants? Sure. I suppose I could take them. Alleviate stress instead of a book. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, why am I even carrying books I can carry when I can take antidepressants instead? When books are heavier. Leave the book. At this point, I have so many antidepressants. Two there and three there. And I think you can consume, I think, five minimum from each packet, assuming they're full. Okay, we're now exhausted, so I've got to be careful of that. Lot of zombies outside. Wouldn't imagine be any different. So yeah, that's all empty. No one in here. And we're good. Yeah, nothing of interest. Last chance. Chess white. I'd imagine that wouldn't mean chess set, so I've just found a chess piece on its own. Oh, that is just depressing. Okay, good. Let's go to... I'd say this building. This apartment. Because those only have one window in and out. These, on the other hand, at least have two. Oh, man. Okay, well, you know what? We're in here. We're safe. Let's have something to eat. Have a few packs of crisps. Keep eating crisps, eat all of it. There we go. Boom. So now we are just tired. I'm not sure what form of string or twine you need to sew up wounds. I don't know if it is twine, but I don't know what it is. And I know you need something. Is that somebody banging on the store? Yep, it is. <gasps> Lay down. <laughs> Done. Let's hope nobody else comes up here. Oh man, it sounds like there's a lot out here. I don't see it though. I don't see any of them. Not good. Let's open the windows for now. To open this window for now as well. And just confirm I can, yeah, I can add a sheet rope. Oh my god. Well, I think this is it for day five. Oh man, completely exhausted. But other than that, we have we haven't even been bitten or well, bitten will be the end of us, but we haven't even been scratched by a zombie. So we're incredibly doing well. I don't I don't know how. Usually it's oh they've broken down this door, I think. So yeah, we we're doing great, and this is day five. Oh man, and we've got a place to sleep. So yeah, guys, that is it for episode five. I can't believe we made it to episode five. I knew the limp would be episode ten, but I wouldn't imagine we'd get to episode oh. I spoke too soon. Bugger. Just 
two zombies. Oh no, it wasn't just two zombies. Be quick about killing you guys. Loot on you? No. Oh god, there's more coming. Oh god! Uh oh, uh oh. To our backup apartment, and if there's anybody out here, oh my god, I'm so dead, so so dead. So, oh man. Okay, well you know what, this is a problem for future Mickey, I think. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next episode when we try to fight our way out this hallway, give up, and then try to climb out that window and likely climb right into the middle of a horde. I'll s You're kidding. You're kidding. Are you... You've got to be joking. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, that's why I walked to that door, opened it, closed it, and I was hoping they'd go to that door instead of this door. Oh, okay, yeah, good. Excellent. Guys, I will see you next time for episode 6. Bye bye. Oh my god, we're so screwed. Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They're at this door now. Yep, they're at this door now. One dead. Oh god! Oh no, close the door! Oh god, no! No, get off me! You buggers! Come on, get to that damn window! Get to the window!